Hello everyone on YouTube. Here's a video tutorial. I got a request from Subra Fan too. She wanted me to help her out with Sony Vegas. Uh, this video works out well with Sony Vegas 8 as well. There's not much difference with Sony Vegas Pro 9 to Pro 8 other than there's more rendering options and there's probably a little bit of different effects but not really much. So this is your workstation. This is your video preview. Uh, we're going to go to file first and we're going to go to properties. For your first time opening Sony Vegas, you might see that uh, your video project properties might look different. Make sure that you want to, if you want good HD quality for YouTube and the size and everything, make sure it's the first HD 720 30 pixels and that your width is this and your height is that. And your field order is non progressive scan. Pixel aspect ratio is 1.0 square. Uh, that it's zero original and then that your frame rate is 29.970 and NTSC depending on if you're a different country or not depending on where you're from you might want to have it but most people from the United States will have this one and then 32 bit following point 2.2 video best and then this and then make sure this is checked if it's not and then check this and then go to apply and then it'll be like this when you open it the next time and you have a new project. So we're going to go to File, Import Media. And we're going to import this clip. And I'm going to show you... Okay, next we're going to drag this down. And I'm going to show you that this is your uh, video track and this is your audio track. You can change the volume of your audio to be louder than, if, than the other one if you had another audio track or whatever like a song you mostly want to might make that louder than the voices or the voices louder than the song sometimes you might do this voice voices louder than the song depending on what you're doing uh, you can also uh, click in the blank area right here and insert new video track and you have a blank one if you have another clip or you can insert an audio track from clicking right in here in the blank area insert audio track what I'm going to do is show you, you can add uh, insert video track and I'm going to insert an audio track and you can even drag it to, so that it could be aligned with the other one. You just drag it underneath it and then uh, which and then you can split your clip like, like so by clicking the S button. You just click the S button and it, it'll split whatever clip you're not going to use or whatever you're working with that you don't want to use. You just delete that and then uh, also too you could uh, get another clip and I'll show you that you, you can have two on top of another and what that does okay now we have two clips on top of another but first what I'm going to do is make sure that you're dragging it onto the video tracks because it'll have an audio track with it so you're going to delete what we're not going to work with which is we're going to match it up to the size of the second video and we're going to if you want to zoom in and delete exactly what you really don't want is you just zoom in right in here or you can zoom out and see all of your video but you want to zoom in a lot more to see what you're working with make sure that your cursors on your sliders on top of what you're working with and you might want to delete like something right in here on the second clip. If you can't see what you're working with on your second clip, you can also uh, just uh, go right in here and you can just block it out and you can see your second clip. Or you can go right in here and you could uh, like change it and you can see a little bit of your second clip, the level, and you can even have it play like that. Or you can leave it at 100%. I'd say just leave it at 100% and just go to add it to it or you could like dodge it or whatever depending on what you're working with you just mess around right in here and just mess around with these and if you forgot where it was at where, where you first started just go back to source alpha and it'll be right on top of the other clip um, what I'm going to do is uh, add in a video of video effects and show you how video effects work a little bit you just drag it onto your clip of what you're working with and you right in here even with uh, anything that you're working with your video effects you're zooming in zooming out of in your video event pan across you work in here and this is your workstation for the time like you want it to go fast like 
to move right in here, it'll move all the way to the left at this time. Or at this time that you click, you move it over here, you want it to go to this position at this time. You can change the size to fit, or you can have it longer, repeat the Y axis, or you want to repeat the X axis. Make sure that's all the way to the right so that it's, it looks the way you want. You just mess around with these. You mess around with the border if you don't want a border, or you do, or whatever, or you want to feather it, or whatever. It depends on what you're looking for and what you're trying to do. And two, you could add, uh, like, insert another video track, and you could add uh, text. What you do is you go to Media Generators, and you go to Text. All of these can have color, but if you just want color on the inside and color on the outside, you just do this one. You can drag it to be whatever size you want. You can even have your clips sometimes play a lot faster. You just uh, S to split, and then you can have one clip play faster by control clicking. Control clicking will bring out a swiggly line, and it'll uh, allow you to speed it up if you drag it in, or speed uh, or slow it down when you drag it out. Depends on what you're doing. But if you want to go back to normal, always click the undo and it'll go back to the way it was before. And then, okay, so to continue with our adding text, what we're going to do is drag it, because you might want your username on your video. You just drag it to play along with your clip of what you're using, and we're going to just delete uh, some more of split, what we're not going to use. And we're going to do this, and you click here, generate media, generate video, whatever, and you type in your username and then you could uh, get some crazy text search for some of them on Google or whatever and you can get some crazy text that you want to bring out your username and make it look a lot better some of them might not let you do numbers if your username has a number with it depending on how the text uh, was created and uh, and if it allows you to do numbers or whatever you can have it at the bottom you just change the alignment and it'll be right aligned and it'll be at the bottom you can change the color like clicking one of these color buttons it'll change the color of your text or if you want your text to be white like it was before just click the white area and you just want to change the color of your outline it'll be red it'll be green or whatever whatever color you're looking for you can have a shadow just make sure you don't mess with the background because it'll block everything right in here and that's pretty much uh, it on Sony Vegas uh, for beginners if you have any questions or comments or requests just send them to me and rate comment and subscribe and that's pretty much it